Hello once again, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a while, and it's been even longer since I have played... Breath of the Wild. I don't know exactly how much of this I'm going to be doing tonight, but there are a few things in mind I would like to, uh... like to do. <laughs> Honestly, it's been so long that I can't even really remember what I have on... Well, oh yeah, I killed a bunch of Lionels, didn't I? Finally! Bunch of jerks that they were. Um, so yeah, I think, I think I mucked about and got a few extra things and stuff. But um, I didn't really play this too much in the last few weeks. No, it's a chicken. Okay. Oh, cuckoo. Forgive me. Um, so yeah, I think what I might do to begin with, because I did kind of prepare and... Create some stamina inducing things for myself. Hopefully, that'll be enough because I'm going to go down and I'm going to see if I can capture that damn giant horse. That will be the first task on my list of tasks. I mean, I'd hate to give up Binky, but I feel like I'm gonna have to ride around on this guy for a while if I actually manage to catch him. I won't necessarily give up Binky, I'll just, you know, have this guy instead. Hey, you know, that guy, over there, that large bastard. Okay, so let's do this the same way I did last time, because that seemed to work. Equip this stuff, climb to the top of the tree, and then just sort of land on top. Well, no, not land on top of him, because that worked poorly when I tried that, didn't it? Land near him, and then jump on. Okay, to maximize the amount of uh, stamina I have, I guess I'll just leave it at this, and then once I get low, I'll eat the thing that gives me extra stamina, and so on and so forth, and... La di da di da. All right. I'm coming for you, you big bastard! Crap! That didn't work. You knew I was coming. Probably because I yelled at him. That night probably landed a little bit too close to him. Let's try this again. Okay, now he's gone over there. Behind a tree. Aha! Okay. It's been a while since I've done this, so I'm assuming that's all I need to do, just keep soothing the thing, which, you know, apparently translates into slapping it on the neck until eventually it submits. That that sounds kinda bad, but it, it'll be fine, I swear. Huzzah! <laughs> Oh crap, almost. Alright. Please, please calm down. I'll be your friend. I just want to be your friend. Oh, thank God. Its head is bigger than I am. That's... that's insane. This is a frightening animal, and look at that... look at the cowlick! Look at the cowlick it has, that's amazing. I love it. Oh, also I like that little detail, I never noticed that before. If you're riding a horse that hasn't actually got a saddle or bridle on it, Link actually grabs the thing's mane. 
That's uh, that's kind of neat. Anyway, let's ride on back to the guy who tasked me with uh, catching this thing, so I can scare the bejesus out of him with it. How the hell do I get back there exactly? Um. Oh, this is the map. Uh, uh, he was down there, so I gotta either ride... I might be able to come out this way and skirt the shore, but maybe that's not a good idea. Because maybe I can't. Okay, well I guess I just go do south and work my way back around again and hope I don't run into more Lionels. Because I don't want to fight them and risk this thing. Seeing how this thing is so freaking temperamental at the moment, it's going to be difficult to uh, sail right on by the Lionels if they've been resurrected. Seriously though, this horse makes the horse in Shadow of the Colossus look like a joke. That horse was huge, man. Of course, in this particular case, it doesn't help that Link is a tiny, tiny man. Okay, so I need to show him to the guys down here, find a stable to ride him to so I can register him, and I need to basically play nicety nice with him until he likes me enough so I can change his gear. I don't really know if there's actually any benefit to having this horse over the other one. I mean, maybe he's got better stats, who knows. Uh, if nothing else, I can use him as a conversation starter, I guess. By the way, have you seen my horse? Oh yeah, these guys. Oops! <laughs> if that's the worst I have to contend with, I think I'm doing pretty good. Okay, so which one of you jerks wanted me to find this thing? Was it you, jerk? Oh, yes. That horse, it's huge! Why, thank you. I've never seen one that big. Oh, you're too kind. That is definitely an endemic species. Sorry, but can I take a good look at that horse? I might need to buy me a drink first, but... Thanks, I'll be right back. This is impressive. Ooh. Quite interesting. Wow. With this much info, I can feel my spirit for discovery murmuring in contentment. It's definitely different. Seeing something with your own eyes rather than, ju than just reading about it. Thank you. Ooh. This is to thank you for helping with our investigation. To think there is actually a horse this big out there. How surprising. That's cool. Uh, ba -ba 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 stable. Alright. Look. Look, 
you you calm down. You calm down, giant horse. There, you killed a goat. Did that satisfy, satisfy your bloodlust? Are we friends now? friends with him the same way I tamed him, by slapping him relentlessly in the neck. What? what what's happening? Stop that. Okay. It's like he just slid straight across. There's no way in hell this would actually fit in there, though. How would the stable even keep the horse? I mean, look look at the... look at the size difference here. That, that's insane. Register you. Hmm. Looks like you got yourself a new steed. No, no comment on how absurdly huge it is. No? Okay. Gotcha. Okay, so its strength is through the roof. I don't know exactly what that means. Maybe you can just kill everything? That's That's... Cool. Doesn't seem faster than Binky, though, but that's not a big surprise. And stamina is negligible. I guess that just might be because I can't, you know, do the thing yet. But anyway. Uh -huh. What can I name this guy? Hmm. Well, it's not terribly creative, but it's the only thing I can think of right now. I can't remember if you, they actually give you the ability to rename your horses. If they do, I might come up with something a bit better later, but for now, let's go with... Gigantor. Yes. I mean, he's not a great big robot, but he is bigger than big, and he is stronger than strong, so we'll go with that. Ah. <laughs> Amazing. And now in the back of my mind, I'm worrying that people may be too young to know even who the hell Gigantor is, but yeah. Don't worry, look up that reference, you'll get it. Why is it when I ride into the stable, he always goes way off kilter like that? so big! Sorry, I don't think I have any gear that would fit such a large horse. And I bet it wouldn't like its main handles. Oh, so I can't even change the gear on the horse. Although I've just noticed the gear is specifically... Wait, I, I know what this horse is a reference to now. Or at the very least, I think I know what it's supposed to be a descendant of. Much like the, uh, white horse I found, you know, Binky, is, uh... Much, much as that horse is a reference to, uh... You know, the, the horse Princess Zelda had in Ocarina of Time, this one... This horse 
is possibly a descendant of Ganon's horse from the same game. Because Ganon's horse was roughly the same color, and it was frighteningly huge. And the bridle and saddle for this thing seems to mimic Ganon's typical style, his design, so... I could limbo under this horse with little difficulty. Not that I'd suggest doing so, I'm just saying it's a thing that you could probably do. Anyway, um... Oh yeah, I had a quest to go over there and kill a bunch of monsters, but I'm not going to do that. Because instead... Um, I need to track down a few more memories at some point, but I don't think I'm going to bother with that right now. I'm almost positive that one's in the castle somewhere. There's a few things I have to do in the castle. Maybe I'll try that some sometime. Not right now, but sometime. For the moment, I am going to travel back to the desert. Specifically... Maybe not the desert itself. Maybe I'll go here and approach the desert that way. Because I'm on check out that mountain. Now that I've got enough gear that I won't freeze to death up there. Because I kind of want to get back on track and carry on trying to deal with the Divine Beast in the desert. And to do that, I th there, there was a guy trying to get into Gerudo Town who has sand boots, which will make it easier to run around in there. And he gave me snow boots, which makes it easier to run around in the snow. And if I remember correctly, I think... Let's see, that was a shrine quest, or was it? Or was it a side quest? I can't even remember. I finished so many, but I still have so many left to do. Like, like this bizarre Xenoblade Chronicles tie-in. Zora Stone Monuments, which I... Ugh kind of wished I knew beforehand, because I already found so many of them. Um, but, uh, but the eighth heroine, that's it. There's a legend about seven heroines in the Gerudo region, but it turns out that an eighth heroine existed, and she is worshipped to this day by her faithful in the Gerudo Highlands. Show a picture of the eighth statue's torso to Bozai to get the sand boots. You've heard that there's someone more acquainted with the Seven Heroines legend in Gerudo Town, so I have to go back to Gerudo Town and see... Okay. Just basically poke around and ask if anybody knows anything in there, I guess. Although I thought it had something to do with the mountains up here, but then again, maybe I'm mistaken, I don't know. I might be thinking about something else. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. I hear a cork. Where are you? Where are you, you leafy bastard? Is that you? That's you, isn't it? Yeah, let's not bother with the mountains just yet. I'll, uh, I'll actually go back to Gerudo Town and... ...see who in there knows the story. Maybe that'll help me narrow my search to a specific spot, make this a bit easier. I also have to upgrade my house more. I haven't done that. And I need to find a Gorn so I can build that town. There's a lot of things I still need to do in this. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I was tracking uh, old fruit. Let's change that, change that back to fronds. There we go. And... Let's once again make this dude look like a lady. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, yeah, the quest target actually just leads me directly to the dong who's running around outside the wall. I'm going to assume you two don't know anything about it, so... Who would, though? Let's eavesdrop on these people. Come on. Come on. Tell me something good. Uh, okay, Chief's Heirloom, Helmet. Uh... Okay, yeah, I already knew all, all about that, so... Um... Wait a minute. So she she sees through my disguise so quickly, <laughs> and yet nobody else does. <laughs> you are. I knew it. It's really impressive you getting in here without anyone else noticing, except you. Don't need to worry. I won't tell a soul. Just a little secret between us, Hilly and Vi, right? <laughs> Okay. Hey, you look old. Do you know about the thing? What were the guards doing while the thieves were sneaking into town and making off with the chief's heirloom? When I was captain of the guard, such a failure would have been absolutely unthinkable. It's just pathetic. If Beleria was out on the front lines, this would have never happened. Sand seal that the chief was with got spooked by a monster and ran off. She quickly realized that it pulled her very close to Naboris. Anyone who approaches Naboris risks being struck by lightning from that divine beast. The chief was lucky to get away. And ever since then, Beleria has refused to leave her side. Oh, oh you're the you're the teacher. Okay. Are you interested in taking my class, Vo and you? I'm a shy. During the day, I teach a class on the Vo of the world, and at night, I teach cooking classes. <laughs> Why don't you join us? Yeah, where was that classroom? Considering that's what she's, uh, that is what she's uh, teaching, it's unlikely they're going to be telling me anything more instructive than that. But it'd be interesting to sit in just to see exactly what she's teaching these women. Yeah, yeah, that was the massage place. It's been so long since I've been here, I'm so confused. Also, I don't think I've been in here yet. Hey, you have a thing to tell me. Mm. It was over there the whole time. I thought it strange that the sandstorm over there never lifted. Mm. One of the few people I've seen in this... I think you're the only person I've seen in here wearing glasses. That's how you know she's an intellectual. Hmm? Huh? What is a Hillian Vi like yourself doing here? Hmm. I'm an archaeologist uh, of sorts. 
I was just poring over some ancient text that I discovered the other day. <laughs> and I finally decoded it! Well, part of it, at least. But the rest is not far off. With this discovery, I'll finally be able to make a name for myself as an archaeologist. Ah. Of course! Bison? Is that you? You're taller and more womanly. You and I meeting here is no coincidence. I've never been one to question fate. I can't explain why, but I trust you for some reason. I'll tell you the details of my research if you can keep a secret. Ah. There's a temple east of here near the entrance of the Gerudo Desert. It's dedicated to the seven giant statues of the heroines, said to be the divine protectors of the Gerudo. It was at this temple that I originally discovered the ancient... <coughs> <laughs> Give me a moment. <laughs> okay. Coughing fit subsided. It reads, When the symbols of the seven find their place, the blessed path will be revealed. That's all I've been able to decipher so far. It's believed that people once came from around the world in search of the heroine's blessing. Mm. But as far as I can tell, it doesn't appear that anyone has found it yet. Mm. I'm not sure exactly what it means, but maybe I'll find out once I've deciphered more of the text. I'm not sure if this is related, but it's said the heroines held powers that were part of a bigger whole. Each heroine had a different power, skill, spirit, endurance, knowledge, flight, motion, and gentleness. Well, they all look the same to me. <laughs> I should understand the entire script before long, but that's only the beginning of my problems. Uh. That divine beast has been moving around the area, making it harder for me to conduct my research. That thing has no respect for academia! I, I know where she's talking about, I've already been out there and I was not able to decipher the puzzle. <clears throat> I have to handle that some other time. Perhaps somebody in the palace knows what I need? Ah, oh, the cooking class is about to start. I wasn't sleeping, I was just thinking! Mm. Ah yes, that's right, this is the class where I assume she's teaching them how to strangle a man. At least that's what that picture tells me. <laughs> I, I like the training dummies, they're, they're very accurate. I'm presuming what I need to know is not here, so I'll pass. You're important around here, do you know? Uh, no, you just know where the Yiga clan hideout, uh, clan hideout is. Okie doke. It's about you, frighteningly large lady. Oh. <laughs> How about you? Hmm. No, it seems like they have nothing for me. Are you a traveler? Oh. 
Sitting here is the Chief's favorite sand seal, Patricia. But she's no ordinary sand seal. She's actually something of an oracle. If you offer fruit to Patricia by placing it before her, you'll receive some words of wisdom. What? I see. Okay. Um. Let let's let's test this theory, shall we? How about a spicy pepper? Do you like spicy peppers? Got lots of them. Here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. The southern desert is searing hot during the day, bringing gear made for it. <laughs> I've spared you the painful seal pun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for your wisdom, kind Patricia. We're very grateful. Uh, do, do you have anything better for me? I kind of, uh, kind of already knew that. Here, have an apple. That's right, do your happy dance, then eat the thing. Oh. Seal the deal on your fortune by using more valuable fruit. Yeah, there's no avoiding that pun. Okay, so I need to use something a bit more exotic. Um... Wait, what do we even have that I could use? I don't... I mean, it's not really a fruit, I guess, but... Nah, no, no, no takers. Okay. Alright, fine. Um... Oh, they got plenty of those bananas and melons here. Certainly, that's not something they want. How about a durian? Would you like one of them? Of course you would! If you don't have anything useful to say after this, I think it's time to give up. <laughs> sand seals can be knocked out by the uh, can be knocked out by the sound of an explosion. I'm se serious. That was a close one. She tried to slip a seal pun in there. The Seal Whisperer. Okay, I've already got one of those. Also, I like how there's a giant stuffed sand seal in here. So, so who lives in this room? Is this... Like, the caretaker's place, maybe? Or does the, uh, does the chief just sleep down here when she wants to be closer to the seal? Questions. Lots of questions. Oh, uh. uh, yeah, I can't go up there. Unless I sneak up there. Yeah, you don't have anything interesting to say. I require information! Who has it for me? Mm. Oh, this must be the cooking class. I was planning on creamy heart soup for the lesson today, but I'm being a bit forgetful, it seems. I know that I need some fresh milk, one volt fruit, one hydromelon, and two heart-shaped vegetables. I just can't recall what the heart-shaped vegetable was. Well, I'm sure it'll come back to me eventually. Can't afford to lose my momentum in life. Very 
fairies. It is said that fairies truly do exist in the world, but that they will only appear before an individual with a pure soul. That's me. One theory suggests that some special kind of cooking might be possible if you use the power of a fairy. <laughs> I, or Tamu, have been a pure soul for over 35 years. I expect my fairy will arrive any day now. Ever, ever hear of a man named Tingle? I think the two of you get along swimmingly. Okay. I wonder if it would be possible for me to guess that just out of hand, probably, but I have no idea even what it could be. What's a Vo doing here? Oh, you know too, do you? Surprised? You might be able to fool all the other Vi around here, but you won't fool me so easily. Don't worry, though. It doesn't matter much to me what you do. But since you came all the way back here, maybe you'd like to stay a bit and chat? Oh, oh the goddess statue has been here since long before I was even born. No one here really believes in that stuff anymore, though, so they tend to avoid stopping here. Kind of like they avoid me. Well, someone has to keep the goddess statue company, so here I am. <laughs> Such a treat to chat with Vo again. Mm. Oh, I may not look it now, but I was quite the traveler when I was young. Quite a beauty, too. It was a rare thing for a Vo not to notice me in notice me come into a room. But I had a fairy tale notion in my mind. I'd heard of the Lover's Pond, and I thought I'd meet my true love there. Traveled all across Hyrule searching for this fabled place, but I couldn't find it. And before I knew it, I'd grown old. The Vo no longer turned when I walked in. Oh, don't look so sad. I stopped being sad about it a long time ago. And I chased my dreams. <laughs> oh. Guess what the hell's the Lover's Pond? Is that one of the, uh... Thingamajigs? The Fairy's Fountain? Is it one I've already found? Vava often said never to eat a hearty durian while drinking. I don't really know why, but since she said it so much, there must be a good reason. But you just said it, so why are you worried you'd mess it up? Mm. <laughs> Look at me, I can speak another language. It just feels like bragging. Uh. Uh. Well, they don't seem to have poultry. Very good. Um. So yeah, I don't really know where it, I maybe the bar, maybe the milk bar would be a good place to check. I'll say if I need to find out uh, in the secret club where the hell this place is, then yeah, yeah. I don't not gonna have much luck with that right this moment. Yeah, that was up here, I believe, so let's go find out. <laughs> I 
<laughs> you definitely don't look old enough to drink here yet. How old are you really? I'm over a hundred! Technically accurate. What a funny vi you are. When you're older, let's have a drink together. I want one now! Oh, are you a Helian Vi? We don't see too many of you. I can't tell how old you are, but you look a little young to be coming into my shop. You see, we mix special drinks here. Drinks that are definitely just for adults. Mm. A little too... okay, um... Something tells me that drink is something I need to get my hands on for some reason or another. Okay, um... Yeah, I'm probably not going to get anything on <laughs> these people either. Ah. It's a little mm. Yeah, this is the same conversation they had before. <laughs> mm. Huh? Okay. Oh yeah, she's the lady who's getting drunk because of the indecisive guy that she was trying to date. Yes. I wonder if there's anything up there. Let's go check that out. And then after that I might just go, who the hell are you? Oh, it's- oh my god, she exists. She's real. <laughs> the one who's been writing all those books. Hmm? What is it, ma'am? As you can see, I'm busy gathering information. Ma'am, don't tell me you don't know who I am. No way. You've never heard of Rumor Mill, either. Whew, thank goodness. If you told me you'd never heard of Hyrule's most popular news publication, Rumor Mill, well, I don't even know how I'd have taken that news. It would have hurt, that's for sure. I'm Tracy herself, you know. Uh. Hey now, get that wishy-washy garbage out of here. Once more, with conviction. What? Uh. Truth is, I'm Tracy herself, from Rumor Mill. Oh, she's talking to herself. No, no, she was saying that I should have been more excited, yes. I suppose that works. Anyway, I hope you enjoy reading Rumor Mill. I take pride in my work. Oh. I see, so that happened over there, and even that happened there. Mm -hmm. huh? We're busy confirming a rumor. Right now, the rumor of the Divine Beast is the talk of the town. If I thoroughly investigate the Divine Beast... Well, a scoop like this could make me some serious money. That's all I'm saying. Uh. Extra current is generated by two humps on that thing's back. Seems to be an entrance or something under the tail. So if you can maybe get it, you can maybe get in that way, but it's super high up. And it shoots lightning at you, so it definitely wouldn't be easy to just go inside, that's for sure. But if someone untangled its legs and tripped it, that'd work out really well. Wait, I shouldn't be telling you this. It's my info. You should earn information using your own two feet. You have anything else to add to that? You do not. Okay. Damn, I was kind of hoping she'd be the one to, uh... Give me some info on where the hell that other... Statue is. Hey, look, it's Kilton again. A man is everywhere.
Yeah, so anyway, I'm just gonna poke around up on the rooftops for a little bit, see if I can find anything interesting, and then I might just go off exploring myself to see if I can find that damn statue. There's supposedly someone in town has got some more information on it, but who? Maybe if I talk to the jerk running around outside, he'd be able to give me some more info. Maybe he's heard more about it. Wait, there's somebody else hanging around up here. Who are you? Uh -huh. What's with you? How am I supposed to enjoy eating with you staring at me? Buzz off! Uh -huh. I mean it! I can't eat with your judgmental eyes on me! Go away! So, what is the purpose of you up here? What, what are you doing, exactly? Well, she's eating melons, obviously, but, you know, there's gotta be some point to that, maybe? I could be mistaken. Well, if nothing else, I should have known one of these guys be here. Let's head back outside of town and have a chat with the pervy guy. See if he can give me any more clues as to who I should be asking this question. You there, boy. Speak to me. Uh, how are you doing? If you'd like, we can take some time to talk about those the sand boots and the eighth heroin. Legend of the Garuda region, about seven heroines, but some also tell of an eighth heroine. People hang out in the Garuda Highlands. Apparently they have a name for her, the Bronze Giant, but that's about the what I've heard. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, he doesn't really... He doesn't really have anything new to add to that, so let's just go hunting that thing down on my own. I get the distinct feeling I might be up in the island, uh, the uh, mountains there somewhere, because that actually is the Gerudo Highlands, isn't it? Or is that what this is? Yeah, because this is... Mm, yeah, let's go into this area up here and uh, find the tower and unlock it, because that might actually be the Highlands. I might be looking in the complete wrong direction there.
Besides, I think I'm long past uh, do unlocking all the areas of the map. Let's be real here. Okay, doke. Now that I don't have to uh, operate undercover anymore, let's uh, throw all this stuff on. Put this stuff on and get to climbing. And if I'm not careful, freezing to death. Yeah, over there might be my best bet. Let's go that way. I did say I was going to try the uh, Master Trials, I think they're called. The thing you do in the uh, Deku Forest to power up the Master Sword or something. I might give that a shot. I get the feeling I'm going to die horribly if I do, but I might give it a shot. Mm, what's that? Oh, no, that's the tower. Okay. Swing! Crap. I just gave him a little push, and then he just died. Been uh, registered. Cool. Oh, that's a that's a very tall tower. Yeah, I'm gonna have to approach that from up on top of one of these cliffs. I think. Oh, because that goes down to pretty much nothing. I am going to investigate what's down at the bottom, but I am not going to do that until I activate the tower and thereby give myself a fast travel point. Because I don't want to jump all the way down there and then have to climb my ass all the way back out. Because I am lazy. Climb. Cl okay. Link seemed violently opposed to grabbing onto that cliff just now. So I would presume I need to get up to that ledge would be the best thing to do. <clears throat> and maybe using the ability Ravali gave me is a good idea too. Better improving the chance I'll actually be able to get to it. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> 
It's just that thing. It's just some form of Octorok. No need to worry. And now it's dead. I don't know why I'm working so hard to do this. I don't need to. But it's fun! I need those arrows. Okay. That, that was kind of pointless. <laughs> My, he wasn't very bright. is here somewhere. I hear the hunting strains of his accordion. actually really close. Not sure where though, I guess he must be above me. Or maybe below me. I don't know. I'm bad with directions. See, we have an elevator system I can make use of here. Oh, crap, what? No, what just happened? And that did not seem fair. Also, the elevator is kind of pointless because I can either A, just climb the cliff, or B, use these ladders, so... Okay, maybe not 100% pointless, because I'm probably going to need to use this elevator. Uh,
Yeah, screw it. I, I <laughs> do not want to screw around with that. Let's just climb the cliff. It's easier. Jeez, can I? I mean, you'd think I'd be able to. Should be able to get... I should be able to squeeze through here. If not, that, that'd be stupid, right? Okay. I have no beef with you, Mr. Moblin. You, uh... Just keep on keeping on. I keep hearing him. Where the hell is he? Whatever. It's not my concern right now. Oh yeah, I said I was going to try to use Rivali's thing, but I did not! Well, I didn't really need to. <laughs> He's not up on top of the tower, is he? That'd be hilarious. He is, isn't he? And he is. How you doing, man? Yeah. What if? N no, but then. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Mm? Ah, forgive me. I was lost in a song written by my late teacher. He wrote it for the hero who fell to the calamity a hundred years ago. Mm. So much time has passed, and yet the hero has not yet returned. Yo. But my teacher always kept faith. I hope to play the song for the hero someday, so I practice it often. Oh, oh forgive me. It seems I prattled on. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Oh. Excellent. Without further ado... <laughs> From the tower shadow an arrow flies... There's heaven's light to reveal the prize. I still don't quite understand the lyrics, but knowing my teacher, they're the key to revealing a secret. Best of luck, and may the light illuminate your path. Da -da -da -da. From the tower, shadow, and arrow flies. Light shines from the northwest skies. Here's heaven's light to reveal the prize. North West, which is more or less where the sun is right now. Although maybe I missed my opportunity because I assume the tower shadow was supposed to point at that. I don't know. I have to think on it. It's not my concern right now. It's just another shrine quest, so I can deal with it later. It's a good thing Cass isn't looking over this way because he would freak right the fuck out. Well, not really. I'm sure he's seen weirder. 
Ba -da -da -da. Nice. Okay, yeah, these are the Gerudo Highlands. Meaning the statue is up here somewhere. I would presume. And I'm going to presume it's probably right at the very tippy top. So let's start heading up that way, shall we? Although it did say I want to check out what's on the bottom, so let's go check out what's at the bottom. Possibly death, apparently. Yes, it's a bottomless pit. In other words, that was mightily pointless. Hmm. Maybe I should have, uh... Maybe I should have made Binky my registered horse again. With the um, gear I had equipped on him, I could teleport him wherever I damn well please. I could have had him up here. Need a bit quicker to get around, I guess. And now I'm going to freeze my balls off. Okay, what's we got? Uh, you, you, and... Okay, I'm good, so let's equip the snow boots. Where are they? Ah! Perfect. Actually, you probably immune to, well, if not immune to ice, then at the very least resistant to it, so... Wow, I think I killed him instantly. some of these pictures. I shall keep them. I forgot how utterly painful it was to climb without the climbing gear. I should probably eat something. I'm running pretty low on health. Let's eat this weird looking crap. Okay, someone's over that way. I am not where I thought I was. Hmm. 
I found better treasure, but it's it's fine. It's fine. Uh? Oh, it it's it's the blood moon. Okay. God, that looks terrifying off here. What's up? That, that that's yeah, that's weird. It's weird. I'm surprised the thing hasn't started playing, telling me about the dangers of the Blood Moon. What's that down there? What is this? It's something Sheikah related. That's a big goddamn hole on the ground. No, it's not Sheikah, it's Yiga. must be their hideout. Mm. Do I want to jump down there? The blood moon rises once again. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't don't think I want to go down there right now, because I don't know how I'll be able to get back out, basically. I will, however, keep this place in mind, because I might want to drop in there later, because that's probably where I need to go to find the helmet. And hey, I won't mind, you know, I, I, I won't mind taking an opportunity to mess with the Yiga clan, seeing as how they're constantly trying to kill me. There's a shrine over there. So I might be dropping in on the Yiga clan sooner rather than later. run up that cliff, Link. Oh, hey, a dragon! Uh, it's too far away for me to hit it with my arrow, though. And the shrine is frozen. Nice, because of course it is. Oh hey, I think I need one of their rods too, don't I?
Just a ticket for dealing with these assholes. That. <laughs> okay, what have I got that I can drop for that? Ugh, I don't really have anything I want to drop, to be honest. All of it's pretty good. But I mean, how often um, am I going to be using that Rito sword? So let's drop that. Swing and a miss. Why aren't you paying any attention to me? You need to try to kill me so I can kill you. There we go. Now, of course, the question is, what am I supposed to do with this thing? Suppose if I had a torch. Oh, just standing next to it with the sword is enough to melt it. Nice. Wish I had a fire rod, though. <laughs> I guess we just stay here and wait, see what happens. So thrilling, so exciting, so melty. I hope this shatters the one over there, because that'd be nice. No, it's just cork. Alternatively, I suppose we could do this. Um, let's see. I know I've got some here somewhere. At least I could have sworn I did. Ah, there we go. Alright. So if I do this, I can't... There. Hmm. 
Okay, so then if I put another one over here... Yeah, maybe I'll put another one here for good measure. It's working! It's working ever so slowly. I can almost see the platform. Let's put down another one. I'm impatient. And while I'm waiting, let's crack open these, uh... Nodes. Using the mass- Using the Master Sword for purposes it most certainly was not supposed to be put to. Master Sword, Slayer of Evil, Miner of War. <laughs> oh, this is the Master Sword, not, uh, there we go. Perfect! Now, is there an actual thing I need to do in here, or was melting the ice the challenge? Nope, there is indeed a challenge. Offer before me a block of ice. Only then will the path forward open. Uh huh. Is it melting because I'm just carrying the sword? That's possible, I guess. Um, how about this? Ah, how do you like that? Hopefully the, um, coldness of the sword will help regulate it a bit. Make things a little bit easier. Oh crap, that's gonna go right into the fire, isn't it? No, it didn't. Nice. Alright. Oh crap. Nope. 
No, 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 no. Okay. Hey, there's chests in there. Oh, I know how to get that. Um, let's see. Same way I need to do this. You stay here, always block. I'll be back. At least I thought I knew how I was supposed to do this. Glide into it from a. Haha, oh, up here. Let's do that. Loop. Perfect. Something I don't even have room for anyway, so that was kind of pointless. Mm hmm. Yeah. I still want to keep every other weapon I have. Alright. At least now I know what it is, in case I ever want to come back for it. Oh, there's a nifty ladder there. That helps. Yeah, clearly, in general terms, that's the thing I need to do, but... Maybe what I can do is I can do this. No, I can't push it with my legs. Well, I can kind of push it with my legs. For, uh, why can't I push it so easily now? <laughs> I'm doing it! I'm doing it! I think I did it! Crap! Okay. 
I have no idea if that's the way they intended you to do that, but god damn it, that's the way I did it. And it worked. Use your frickin' ice. This is just an elaborate way for this mummy to get ice for his drinks. It's an on-the-rocks corpse. Okay, now that I have that as a teleportation point, although come to think of it, I could have made a teleportation point any time I wanted with the uh, stone I had, but, you know, I forgot all about that. But in any case, seeing so I have that now, let's, uh... Go back there. And jump down that big old hole and see what happens. Maybe I'll have a great time, but nothing good ever happens when I jump in holes. Just just speaking from personal experience. And away we go! Am I dead? Okay, that didn't do anything. Never mind. There must be some reason for that, though. It'll probably come into play when I actually do go head to head with the Eagle Clan, which I plan on doing after, uh, you know, going on this sojourn to look for this statue. Well, after that, and after possibly trying the Troll of the Sword, which means I'm definitely not going to be getting to it this time around, but it, it's on the list. It, it's on the list. Uh, there appears to be an interesting thing on the map over here, so let's go check that out. Okay, it's not that interesting, it's just a monster thing. Just a hive of scum and villainy. Nothing to see here. Damn it! No, it's just the Octorok. I was gonna say, what the hell is making that noise? Why is it chasing me? Seriously, dude, it's just simply not worth it. What's that lone guardian doing in there? Why would they be even up here anyway? I mean, what was there up here for them to attack? I 
do need more guardian parts. Of course, another very important question I have is where is the, uh, th there must be at least one more fairy fountain. Where is that? Needs to upgrade all my stuff, man. Even if the fairies do creep me out severely. We little ice men! I'll leave them alone, they're not bothering me. early regularly gro growing mushrooms all lined up Good thing I hung on to all those flame swords that, you know, I never used. I got any bows I can get rid of. I kind of like all the ones I have. Yes, why is this here? What purpose does this serve? There's another one over here. It's actually a whole string of them. Hmm. I need to use them to get somewhere? But why? For what purpose? Yeah, because there's another one right here. Then maybe all the purpose is, is it's just easier for me to get up to the top. This seems weird. Why, why is this like this? That's why that's like that. Look, I don't have time for your crap. I, I told you! Aw, oh, jeez! because that head is down there, that thing is not going to die completely. That's okay. Time to take off. Whee! Oh yeah, that's that uh, shrine thing that I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with it. Let's go take a look at that. Am I supposed to hit it with a shock arrow? Is that what it's trying to tell me? I got lots of them. That's exactly what I had to do. Alright.
Well, let's head on down there and get that spirit orb. I'm willing to bet I don't need to do a challenge for this one. This is true. All right. Kihayug. Last name. Da -na -na -na. Cool. Well, I can take that off the map. Now, if I was a giant statue of a lady, where would I be? Yeah, I still think the very tippy top of this place, I mean, maybe that little spot there, is it? I don't know. Let's go and find out. Should be able to rest on this ledge, maybe? Let's find it. Oh, yep. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um... Right. No, that didn't work. Too high up. Okay. Try it again. You weren't supposed to freeze me. You were supposed to die. Well, I mean, it did die, but, it, you know, I was supposed to do both. Crap. Came for the wrong one. And... Okay. I hate running out of inventory space. Um... Okay, you know what? I don't think I really need two great frost blades, so let's drop the one I've been using, which I think is that one. I was playing that freaky music where the dragon was nearby again. Yep. 
Oh, this is one of the dragon spawn points. It must be. Crap, it's actually really close. Um, 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 um. Boom! No! Eh. I need to shoot you in the tail! Get back! Crap. Okay, one last try. Uh, yeah, okay. Maybe later. I presume I must spawn up here some somewhere anyway. It's awful close to the ground, so... Another one? Okay, I don't need to get two. One of them. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, screw it. I'm probably going to try to kill that thing. Killed several of them already, it's no reason not to get cocky, right? Uh, I mean, it could be the thing I'm looking for is around here somewhere, but it's just such a frozen wasteland. That looks maybe a little bit weird. I don't know. Nah, I uh, misinterpreted it. It's just a feature of the cliff face, apparently. Oh, hey, the dragon's back. Maybe. Kind of. Sort of. Oh, there's another shrine. Mount of Gat could be a place where it is, too. I don't know. Whatever, I'm gonna keep an eye on that thing, make sure, you know, if it comes over here, then I'm shooting. It's coming over here. I, I'm a shooter. Grab! Okay, better not push my luck. Let's just uh, get what it dropped. And it's a piece of a scale. And it's Farosh again. I think that's the one I already found, so I guess he must go from all the way down there to up here. It sees me from all the way back here.
It knows I'm here. Let's let's go kill it. Uh, yep, let's have my... No, actually, no, let's not eat that yet until I'm actually getting pretty low on health. Uh, I can't equip any better armor than this because I would freeze. So let's equip that bow. Okay. Equip that bow, this Lionel weapon. Yeah, which one are you, anyway? Oh, it's a white main Lionel. Oh, oh dear. This is gonna be bad. This is gonna be... Oh, Jesus! <laughs> You're supposed to be stunned. You need to be stunned! Uh, no. I welcome the warmth. It's very cold up here, but still. Okay, now now is a good time to eat food. I need the foods. All right. Oh, finally! Ooh, I got really lucky that time. <laughs> Just, just in case, I should probably eat this now, too. Might be a waste. But we'll see. Nope. Nope. the hell was that? <laughs> that? That's a new one. That was a new trick. Okay, let's try taking that thing on one more time. If I can't kill it, then I'll avoid it. <laughs> Lionel Crusher... Savage Lionel Bow. Oh, I don't need to deal with you guys, too. That's right, put the bow away. Holy shit! It just opened with that this time. Can I not? No, no, okay, I actually do have regular arrows equipped. Why haven't I actually crit it? I've hit it in the head several times. Shit! Missed my chance! Missed my chance! 
There. Ah. Yeah, let's do this. That might also help, or at least help me to get other things away. No, get- don't- oh, don't- ah, shit! I didn't mean to do that, I wanted to get on his back. I guess I'll just have to use this. Or will I? Is that even the best weapon to use? Not really. This is. Fall for it this time. You jerk. Ah. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Yeah, screw it. Let's do that too. Crap, that got rid of my hasty, though. Mm. Got lots of these. if I can actually stagger him with this, though. Felt him with enough shock arrows will go down eventually, though. Staggerum. Ah, that was not fair. Oh, thank God! <laughs> okay... <laughs> yeah, he was a lot tougher than the other ones I took on. I think I can definitely drop a bow in favor of that one. Yeah, let's let's get rid of that uh 
What about silver bow? Yeah, it's pretty much the same as the one I've already got equipped. Good, good. Oh, that looks like a thing. Maybe, maybe it's the thing I'm looking for. No, but it might be related to the thing I'm looking for. Have we here, and why is it not registering? Okay, there we go. Hmm. Well, I mean, I know where it is if I ever want to come back for it. So this, I'm pretty sure, is not what they're looking. They want the statue itself. This sword looks like it probably belongs to the statue, but in this case, where the hell is the main statue? It's probably not going to help me, but... Maybe it's over in the direction the sword is pointing, like over here somewhere. I'll do one quick look, and then I, th I think that might be all I'm going to do tonight, to be honest. I mean, hey, I know it's not much, it's just basically a scavenger hunt for something that's supposedly gigantic. But, uh... Yeah. I just really want those boots, you know? I always found it weird when uh, trees are all lined off like that. Of course, the other thing, too, is here I am expecting that the statue I'm looking for is on top of a mountain somewhere. It could very well be down in one of the crevices in this area. Like, perhaps the sword is where the statue used to be. But... No, that can't be right. No. Uh, I, I just, I just had a, a, an odd thought. I was just thinking to myself, is like it, maybe the statue is big enough that it's actually part of the landscape, and I can't see it unless I'm up in the air. Which would probably explain those. Uh, 
which would probably explain the air vents down there, if that was true. I don't know, that might be a theory worth investigating, but mm, yeah, no. I'm, I'm just going to operate under the assumption right now that there is an Honest God statue around here somewhere and I need fun. That's not a chest, it's one of those guys. So, actually, I do have one of those. Never mind. All right, I can stay there. know where it was. Let's try that again. Oh look, and there's another cork down there it seems. stare down with this thing. <laughs> bye bye Crap. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got a little bit confused there for a minute. I didn't realize I could pick those things up. Well, hey there, fellas. How you doing? up there now I just need to figure out where it gets placed okay I think I may have figured that easy peasy goes right that allows me to do so There. 
So yeah, before I call it quits, I'm gonna check over on the top of that mountain over there. I don't see anything back here that obviously appears to be a giant statue, but, um... It won't hurt to check, I'm sure. I was hoping the weather would stay clear, but obviously it's not going to cooperate with me now, is it? can't go any further. I can't actually climb up there. I guess this is the only section of it I can. What's in there? Is it in there? I don't know. Yes, I'm well aware there's a shrine nearby. Activate this thing. I don't feel like going in there right now. Come back to it later. here almost look like they could be constructed blocks, but then again, maybe they're not. <laughs> I'm surprised it took the little folks that long to uh, figure out where I was. This way. This is where I need to go. Well, I know, but need to go, but this is where I want to go. Yeah, man, I don't know. I, I have no real idea where that statue could be. Yeah, 
let's see, let's see. Let's take a look, see what's underneath this. should probably deal with him. Crap. That's a frozen... those are just frozen enemies in the ice, never mind. Not really anything important, not really anything I really want thought. That's a uh, Bokoblin with a fire rod attempting to melt that ice. How adorable. <laughs> moose! No, I can't actually try to ride the moose. That's a shame. Those Bokoblins are riding bears. That seems unfair. is so I'm just gonna have to postpone that and um, try looking for it again some other time there's a dragon again I know where he is um, yeah maybe maybe all I'll do is I'll go hunting in Gerudo village a bit more thoroughly and see if I can find someone who knows what the hell this statue thing is all about but I think that's probably enough of this for tonight. I know I didn't really do a whole hell of a lot, but, um, you know, that, that's the way these big open world games can be sometimes. Sometimes you just spend a lot of time farting around looking for things. So, yeah. Hopefully I will get to stream again sometime soon. I might carry on with, uh... Yeah, I might do Batman again next time, seeing as how the fourth episode of that was released there not too long ago, and probably won't be too much longer before they finish it entirely. I'm really interested to see how that's going, like where it's going to go. So I, I think that'll be the next thing I do. So until then, as always, I thank you very much if you happen to stop by to watch. I really appreciate it, and hopefully I will also see you folks next time. But until then, I wish you a farewell and a good night.